Welcome to life. Today, I want us to discuss about life and the issues of life. Life is full of ups and downs, good and bad. And these things happen to virtually everybody, both those who are very committed with their service unto God and those who do not even know God, talk less of loving Him. From time to time, as children of the living God, we face some very serious situations that we ask ourselves, why is this happening? Why is this? Particularly, in some cases, we really pray and pray out our heart, mobilize people of God from all over to join us in prayer. And at the end of the day, this answer, as it were, will come negative. There's a young girl that was sick, and we prayed. We believed that God was going to do something in the life of that girl, that God was going to intervene. At a point in time, we saw that things were improving and we were giving thanks to God. All of a sudden, everything turned down again. At the end of the day, the young girl passed away. It was a big blow. I couldn't figure it out. Why did this happen? And this little girl loved Jesus so much. God tells us in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 8, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. What it means is that God knows that we are limited in knowledge, and our thoughts can be channeled something that is not aligning with his own thoughts. So when in life you have done everything you are supposed to do and you don't get the results you expected, just remember, child of God, that God said, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. That's what God said. So let us always hold on unto God no matter what it is. And when it doesn't come the way we expected, Let's still give him thanks because he has the whole world in his hands. God bless you.